In this example, we're going to look at the limit as x approaches infinity of x minus the natural log of x. Now this one in its form isn't ready for a L'Hopital's rule, but it is an indeterminate form. If I attempt to plug in infinity and take these limits, I end up with infinity minus the natural log of infinity, which gives me infinity minus infinity. This is also an indeterminate form, but I need to get a quotient in there so that we can apply L'Hopital's rule. I'm going to get that quotient in there by dividing or factoring out an x. So I'm just manipulating this so I can get a quotient and look what I end up with. So as I do that, I get the limit still as x approaches infinity. We're going to hang on to that for a second. I really am factoring this x out. So my x comes out in front. x divided by x, those cancel and I get 1. The natural log of x divided by x can be just rewritten as the natural log of x divided by x. To make sure you've factored correctly, you can just multiply that back through. Now I can take the limit of x, that's not a problem, but I can now apply L'Hopital's rule to the natural log of x over x. Let's go ahead and pull that guy aside. So the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of x over x. Now as I apply infinity in, this goes to infinity over infinity, which means that L'Hopital's rule applies to this piece. Let's go ahead and do that. So as I apply L'Hopital's rule, I get the limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. And then the derivative of x is just 1, so I end up with 1 over x. I put infinity in, and 1 divided by infinity goes to 0. This goes to 0. Let's go ahead and put it all back together. So as I'm applying infinity, the limit as x goes to infinity of x goes to infinity. In the parentheses, I get 1 minus the limit of the natural log of x over x, which goes to 0. And I end up with my answer, which is infinity. I hope this was helpful. Take a look at my next video. You guys got this. Thanks so much for watching.